Education College Bray. Let's take a check on the two teams. And this Black Rock side features five players who started last year's final against Gonzaga, that high scoring final, with a further three players who played their part from the replacements bench. Oliver Coffey captains the side today from scrum half and has represented Leinster alongside the Prez Bray captain Jack Murphy. So those two pivotal players will know each other's games well. Alex Mullen at tight head missed last year's final through injury and good to see James O'Sullivan feature on the right wing after a couple of years plagued by injury. There is one late change to inform you about Harry Whelan will start at number 10 for Black Rock. There's an injury to Connor O'Shaughnessy. Mikey Yar and Jack Angudo all step up to start having played supporting roles in that final that I spoke about last March. Presentation College Bray select a starting 15 showing six starters from last year's round one defeat to Kilkenny College, including their prop forwards Cormac McGrath and Jack McDonald and Irish schools lock forward Billy Corrigan, who scored a try in that 23 points to 10 defeat 12 months ago. Jack Murphy at 10, I spoke about him. He returns for a second year in Senior Cup campaign. The talented out half is the son of Ireland under 20s head coach Richie Murphy, who captained the Wicklow School to a Junior Cup title way back in 1990, beating Black Rock in the first round that year. The midfield partnership of Lorcan Smith alongside the influential Finn Tracy is retained this year with Dylan Henry offering some counter-attacking threat in what is a pacey and lively Prez Bray back three. And so here they come then, it is a monumental task facing these young men from Prez Bray, but they'll have done their homework, they've done all the training, the long winter months on the training paddock and through the league, all build up to today. It's a marvellous occasion. It's a huge task, it's a wonderful opportunity, Bernard Jackman, for these players to showcase their talents. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It, some of them would have been here as kids, when their parents would have brought them, known they were coming to the Press Bray. Some of them played in the Junior Cup, and, you know, likewise for Black Rock, there's been years gone into this. So many underage coaches, mini coaches, have, have helped these kids get to, get to play on, on, in Donnybrook, which is, you know, it, it's infamous for, for historic matches at schools level, and uh, hopefully we get a good game. We, you know, we generally do. We generally get a lot of physicality, a, a lot of skill, and, um, yeah, both these teams will be well prepped for sure. Yeah, as you mentioned, the old kind of FA Cup side of giant killers, and it certainly has that feeling around Donnybrook this afternoon, but this is a multi-talented Black Rock College side, albeit with that change that I mentioned at number 10, a quick shot there of Harry Whelan, big expectation on him coming into the side late in the day. Robbie Jenkinson is in charge, as always it's 35 minutes a half at senior schools level, and we are almost set to go. It's the second first round match of the season, St Michael's College already through to the quarterfinals, having taken down the colours of Belvedere College in a lively game yesterday. Let's hope we get 70 minutes or so of something very similar this afternoon. As you can see, kicking from left to right, it's Prez Bray who will get us underway very shortly indeed. Jack Murphy, so much responsibility on his young shoulders, but he is a talented player. We're almost set to go, back very shortly. All set Happy to go life. then. Well, nothing like a short break right before kickoff just to test those last minute nerves. And as we speak to you from high up in the commentary position here, there's just the first real breath of wind picks up around Donnybrook. But otherwise, conditions pretty good. And a good start, as always, is absolutely crucial. That was taken in really well by James O'Sullivan off a, a deep kickoff from Jack Murphy. That's inside. Donovan McGuire wearing number five in that second row alongside Michael Colrevi for Black Rock this afternoon. Two big, powerful young athletes. And that's a decent nudge up that far side. There you can see the 
semblance of a breeze in the assistant referee's flag over on that far side. Yeah, it's a brilliant kick from Oliver Coffey. He takes, he's like Conor Murray, he takes so much responsibility for Black Rock. He's a brilliant kicker out of hand. He kicks a goal most of the time as well. And, you know, against the wind to bring it up over the halfway is a phenomenal exit for them. Plenty of moving parts in that lineup, and they've read it well. Black Rock, they go to the front, and it's been picked off by Connor Tonge now. The, can they get some kind of quick ball and momentum inside Presbrae's half of the field as they go with the aforementioned Michael cole A little bit of a juggle, and that's good defensive line speed, exactly what presentation colleagues Bray will have been looking leave for it, inside the it. opening couple of minutes, just to lay down a little bit of a marker here. There's a scuffle going on on the ground, and the ball is in there somewhere, and Tempers threatening to boil over here. There was two or three really big collisions in there. And the referee you will know, just step in and settle everything down. Yeah. This is with Jack. Jack Murphy was taken out there after the rook and was pinned on the head. ground. And okay. On the floor. Hopefully we're going to have a good okay. game. Hands off. I've got a flag here. It's not going to be lots of off-the-ball stuff. Okay, just keep your players back for a second. Just step back. Which had touched it, you've seen it. It's great. The assistant referee on this side does have his flag raised and he will come in to have a quick word with Robbie Jenkins. Okay, so yeah, it's a big hit from the Billy Corrigan to see. That's way off the ball, ball. taken out off to the rook and then okay. he's lying on top of him. You know, just really important. Okay. Tempers are, are high, people are nervous, but we just want to see a clean game of rugby. Yeah, so it was the, the Presbury number 10. Much spoken about Jack Murphy, who was uh, well, the subject of some treatment there. As you say, he was taken out a long way from where the ball was. Okay, so off the ball, you've struck a player on the floor. Okay, that's going to be a yellow card for you. Yeah. Nice. Well, straight away, it's a yellow card for the inside centre. And number 12 for Blackrock College, Mark Walsh. Strong referee in there, Robbie Jenkinson. You know, you often see referees give a warning early in the game, but when it's as blatant as that. Mark Walsh is a very good player, I mean, he's a very clean player as well, we've seen, seen lots of him, it's just a little bit of over-exuberance and that happens often, particularly the first round when kids are so hyped up for it. It's a big, big kick for Jack Murphy here, in, well inside his own half, but he's a quality player, he's Richie Murphy's son obviously, who's uh, his coach in the Irish in her 20s, was a big part of Joe Schmidt's Irish squad, um, worked for Leinster. And uh, his, young, his older brother, Ben, is contracted to Leinster Academy. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jack goes the same route. Well, so a big moment so early in the game. Blackrock down numbers. And this is a long, long way from the target. At any level, it would be a monster kick. It's just holding up in the breeze, and it was a fraction off target. Really, really good thump, and he almost made the three points. Yeah, that's a, phen a phenomenal effort. He had, he had more than enough distance, but obviously just a fortune just hit that post. Okay. Uh, professional kickers would be, would be proud of that. But it sends an early warning sign to, to Black Rock that anything is kickable for, for Jack Murphy. So to a shortened line-out, having been turned over at the last time, and there you see that little bit of breeze which is affecting things down at pitch level. It's uh, cranked up in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Presbury have it, and there goes that explosive pace, taking a really good line from Jack Murphy, and the ball is recycled quickly, and certainly their tails are up now. They're trying to seize the advantage with the opposition down to 14 players. Murphy now gets his pass away quickly to Cormac McGrath, who took a good line inside. Everything going through Jack Murphy now. They've got numbers out wide and the ball over the top. James McDonald, and he runs into a couple of covering players. Really good tackle. Owen Walsh is there in the nick of time. Yeah, good play. Space wide. Yeah, good play by, by Presbury. Great catch at the lineup for Billy Corrigan. It's very difficult, obviously, that the wind seemed to be taken, but he delivered it to 
to his number nine and then Prez Bray bounced back down the blind side and this is this is three phases later when they seem to have shortened up that Black Rock defence, obviously a man down and there is space on the edge, but unfortunately from Prez Bray point of view that ball just went forward. But in fairness to Black Rock the scramble defence was there and they would have got back. It wouldn't have been a, a try, but it would have been Prez Bray on the front foot. Craig! Boy! And so they put in two. Blackrock scrum for Oliver Coffey, the champion's number nine. Excellent for me too. Keep that same. Keep your height here. Both you keep your height. Start here and then drop back. Tom O'Reardon, Mikey Yar, and Alex Mullen in that Blackrock College front row this afternoon. Great. Alex Mullen on the tight head side was unfortunate to miss the final last year against Gonzaga with a hand injury, so Set. great to see him back to get his chance again this year. And away off the base goes Tom Brick, strong ball carrier, dynamic runner, using his physicality and his power, and he got a little bit of a helping hand from one or two of the Black Rock players as well to make meters through the tackle. Coffee now tries to get his side moving. Short pass and Prez Bray well set defensively to close down numbers and stop the likes of Tom O'Reardon and others. But Blackrock recycle and go again, trying to bring tempo. Playing closer on the ruck, trying to use their power and physicality. Tom Brigg again, another of the Leinster and Ireland representatives in this Blackrock side. Almost up to that 10 meter line, going a little bit deeper this time. There was a big hit came in then on Harry Whelan, taken up by Andrew Quinn. And is there something? Wide outside, lovely hands, space and numbers on wide. They're into the 22. Support runner down that side for Charlie Maloney was Mikey Yari. Didn't see fit to use him on that occasion, and still they go again. This time on the blind side, flanker Connor Tonge and recycle to Tom O'Reardon again. Camp deep inside that 22. Great opportunity for Black Rock down to 14 to strike first against Prez Bray here using the full expanse of the pitch, having gone through the phases in the middle of the pitch, and now they set up one of those centre field rooks again, and they go with Mikey Yar. The Black Rock hooker takes it on. Coffee again, orchestrating things and giving quick ball out to the likes of Michael Colreevy. Now, good line back inside from Andrew Quinn on the charge. Presbury try and reset again. Now, was that knocked on? The referee says it went backwards. Two metres short of the line, That's great opportunity one. now to just try and find a soft shoulder and par their way over, and they've That's got so one. much That's power one. in that pack. Press Bray getting good low body position, sandbagging that line, can they hold out? That's one. For how much longer, you wonder. You Has the referee single penalty advantage there? Here they go again, I think it's Cole Reeve gets his one. hands on it. Mullen is there, and in behind him, Yard too, he just shifts it. That was really good, I think that's a try. The, Line beckons the referee, Robbie Jenkinson goes in. Now he can see it, and now he can't see fit to award the opening try of the afternoon. All that hard work from in those tight corridors and those tight exchanges, and Black Rock down to 14, but they find a way to get the first try of the afternoon. Yeah, it's a great response from Black Rock yeah. to the yellow card, and in fairness to them, they started with a big carry off the back of the scrum from Tom Brigg, and he got him go forward, and then they were just very direct one out, one out, one out. But when they shortened up that Presbury defensive line, they went to the left-hand side to Charlie Maloney. He made a huge carry down the left-hand side and took a massive tackle from Darius Fulham. It was a lovely little shift, wasn't it, from Mikey Yard to Tom O'Reardon, so it's the loose-head prop who's got the try. Nice. A little bit of everything in the full repertoire in that try. When first they had the space out wide and then they went back to their pick and jam game from close in. Coffee, usually so reliable, and so he is this afternoon. That's a really, really good start from Black Rock, having composed and settled themselves. Yeah, very mature, and they've got Mark Walsh back off the, yeah. off the sin bin now, back to 15 and against the wind. That's really effective smart rugby just using your forward power and just pounding away at Presbury they're on a penalty advantage but I think the advantage was over but so they had to be clinical there and they certainly were yes seven minute yellow card Sinbin of course at this level and the opening seven advantage. or eight minutes have flown by okay. Stop. That's good. yeah another good kickoff from Jack Murphy the first time he went deep but that time he put it up there for Finn Tracy who's 
Another Irish schoolboy on his Presbury team, 13, and he goes to challenge for it and just so goes off his hand there. But got it behind that forward pod, and it could have been dangerous. To start with the nine. You're outside. Outside. Crouch. Take it eight. Take it eight. Find. Set. Basic. Controlled at the base again by Tom Brigg, who's made a, a big impression in the opening nine or ten minutes. There's the try score, Tom O'Reardon. Another big carry. Use it nine. Time to run. As we expected, Black Box Pack is uh, well capable of doing a lot of damage. That's a really difficult kick. Blackrock had themselves a penalty, knocked forward initially and then played from an offside position. So, good opportunity for further yeah. field position here. Yeah, and that's the last thing Pres Bray want to do is give Blackrock opportunities to go down the line. We've seen how strong their carries are with ball in hand, but their line out mall is, is probably up there with Tim Michaels has been one of the strongest in this competition. And you've got to limit their opportunities. And it's a really good box kick from, from Coffey, hard for, for Dylan. Henry in the, in the wind, and obviously it's, it's instinctive as you come back to, to try and pick that ball up from Finn, Finn Tracy, Finn Kelly. Good kick chase as well from James O'Sullivan, so Dylan Henry probably had him in his peripheral vision as he's trying to cope with that swirling ball. As Bernard mentioned it, and Morris Logue did pre-game as well there. They know what's coming with this Black Rock ball. And they're adding in the numbers and they're going forward. Guys probably need to reorganize now advantage. and try and get a foothold. Penalty advantage here, and Alex Mullen is a difficult player to stop as he burrows his way through three or four meters. And now O'Reardon did well to pick that up. It was a little bit low, but he stooped and recycled. And Mikey Yar goes again. Now it's the open side, and Gula very, very close to that line there within touching distance of a second try and quick succession here. And Tom Brigg driving, pumping those quads, going for the line. Always aware of where the try line was, and he gets over it, grinds the ball, and Robbie Jenkinson, the match referee, happy to award the second try of the afternoon. Yeah, and again, it's just pure power. Really well drilled line them all. They had the penalty advantage. Captain. Eventually, Prez make them break away, but from here, you, you know, they're just so well organized, so patient. Area, okay. that's, a, that's a good hit from Finn Bryan, a hooker. But, but again, it's just getting those big ball carriers with a latch in behind. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly scored there, and then eventually, you know, again, no one goes on their own. Really good score. And so it's the par so far of Black Rock doing the lion's share of the damage and the extras added once again through the ever reliable boot of that man in your picture. Two more points for Oliver Coffey. And it's 14 points nil as we reach the 13th minute of the game. Really important point in the game. You feel already for Presbury that they keep their heads up and find a way to get themselves into the game, be it through territory or retaining the ball. Tricky one to pick up there for Pause Billy it. Corrigan, but he did really Pause well. Now the ball is loose and it's anyone's. That's a mall. Referee's playing an advantage here to Press Bray. And their big targets are all lined up. Finn Bryan and Cormac McGrath together. No hand six. There again for Kean Eddy and now Jack Murphy. Can he conjure something? Oh, it's a really good line. Offload was ambitious okay. and maybe that just might have been better held in. Yeah, good line by Billy Corrigan, who's a, an outstanding second row. His battle with Colribi today will be will be really interesting. But you know, it's Keen. Same again, lads, please. Keen Eddie just does really well, tied it up. And first, was Jack Murphy put Billy Corrigan through the hole with his inside pass. And you feel that Prez just need to get some possession now, build some phases because when Rock Eddie is so clinical, and they're so powerful. But great effort there to get that ball away to, to Finn Bryan, the hooker. A little bit of treatment required for one of the Prez Bay Bray players, but yeah, you can see there's a shot of Billy Corrigan again. As I said, he scored a try in the first round of the competition last year in a, a fairly tight game against Kilkenny College. As 
watching back the, the post-match interviews from last year and Jack Murphy <laughs> spoke very well on behalf of his team last year he felt the disappointment in that Kilkenny College game right. was back on. that Bray didn't really fire a shot and certainly they'll want Water to off, not leave today with the same sentiment off, lads, time's you off. see when he has the ball there Bernard two or three Black Rock players honing in on him he's so dangerous yeah he's more he's more than just a kick and ten yeah. um, he actually has everything his passing game is is really strong his, his understanding of of when to play when to kick uh, is top class and yeah, for sure, Rock are smart to be very focused on him because he is a danger man. But there's some other players, that, you know, outside of Finn, Finn Tracy, particularly Lorcan Smith, Darrow Sullivan are all big, big dangers as well. Okay. Okay, stop. Lads, I feel like there's white coming in from both sides, okay? Just keep the space on point. Okay, and that'll help us. Here we go. Some interesting matchups later this week. Newbridge College against Kilkenny. Terran, you're against Clongos already, as Bernard mentioned. Prince. So Michael's having the number of Belbo, 19 points to five yesterday. Point. Set. Almost stop, stop. loose from Tom Brigg, but clutched really well by Coffey. Yeah, they're just so clinical. They don't overplay in their own half. They kicking game is really strong, move the play up the field, trample pressure on your set piece. Uh, no, so it's crucial for Press to try and get, get some quality get. possession here guys. and build, build some possession because this game can get out of hand very Five. quickly. So Finn Bryan, what's the variation or the call here? Great take. Corrigan did exceptionally well. Now Murphy. Again, they switch it really nicely in midfield. Lovely pass from Lorcan Smith, I think it was, to Zach Kirby. Finn Bryan, but he's well watched this time by Mark Wallace. Back in the fray now, Murphy. Four stop, four, four stop, four! Into the 22 and taken cleanly, well watched all the way. Solid work that time from James O'Sullivan and helped out then by Andrew Quinn, very tight to that touchline on the near side. Clear out from... Charlie Maloney and Blackrock can go again. Use it! Last four white. Coffee once again just to play the percentages. Straight down the middle of the pitch and a lot of distance on that. Hold it from white. Six. Six hold. Backfield well covered. Harry Whelan now. Interesting to see what his options are. Chooses to keep ball in hand and he picks out Alex Mullen. He's such a powerhouse. Tall, powerful runner. He's played some second row as well, but he's in a tight head this afternoon. All the way back goes O'Sullivan. That yeah, was a very smart kick from, from Oliver Coffey. He knew in that kick battle the Prez didn't have the backfield covered perfectly, and, and also, that little runner that, from the kick, right? he'll chip over the top is going to run there. And with the new, well, not new, but with the goal line dropout now, it's really an advantage for, for Black Rock rather than a scrum back. So 10 to 10, good distance on the kick. Whelan now, no surprise that he picks out Brig. He's been instrumental so far. And again, the first off tackle from Prez Bray isn't enough to bring him down. He's so Ball powerful. Left. Connor Tone shifts the point of attack and gets it back again from Tom O'Reardon. Some nice link up play between these Blackrock College forwards. And now they go out the back, spilled forward by Andrew Quinn. It was just a fraction behind him as he looked to go through that gap. Now, Kean Eddy. Murphy now, what's he manufactured here? I did see two players in space over on that far side. Yeah, it's a lovely kick. He knows he has a, an advantage there. And no advantage, you're always in front. We're coming back for the knock-on. In fairness to Blackrock, they had the space covered, even if in, Tracy caught that, but beautiful kick. But so impressive with the Blackrock number eight, Tom Brigg. He's obviously powerful, but he also has a subtle change of footwork just yeah, before contact, which gets him to soft shoulder and then he has the leg drive to, to get four or five extra yards. Yeah, and he's not alone in bringing that power and size to this Black Rock pack. Great carry in there from Alex Mullen as well. Can you just off the pitch? Because you're going to have to check, because you're going to have to change that anyway. Thanks. Just pick up there. Uh, thank you. It's been pretty 
frantic and high paced in the opening 18 minutes. Those couple of tries, if you're just settling in with us, Tom O'Reardon and Tom Brigg. We are good, Ben. And this is how they got to the, the second try eventually from Tom Brigg, but there's lots of good stuff uh, in the build up. Yeah, it's built, it's built so well. It's been a big source of, of energy and here. points from during the year. It's ball at the back all the time, guys in front working really corner. hard. Sorry? Low body yeah, position is rebuild it. And it's, it's just so hard to stop at, at any level, particularly schoolboy level, when you're up against a, a, a team, a, a four pack who are bigger physically than well drilled. And there's Mullen and Tom O'Reardon involved in the build up. Yeah. Well, everybody really. Jacques Angelo, the open side flanker, in there as well. And eventually they get it to break. But all the while, Oliver Coffey is so calm and always just seems to have an extra second to know where his forwards are, what he wants to do with it, and how to manipulate that attack. It's a very open cup this year, I think, based on what's been happening in the friendlies. Um, you know, Gonzaga have come out of the league as league winners, obviously being the final last year. Their back line is incredible, really dangerous. Um, the likes of Michaels and Rock will maybe feel that they can put a squeeze on them up front, but there's no clear, uh, you know, outstanding fa uh, favourite in my ideas, but certainly back Rock are up there. Yeah. It's interesting, the last few years, Gonzaga have come on leaps and bounds again. They probably will have feel they should have Got their hands on the trophy, well beaten in the end, and that really high scoring 10 try final last okay, season 50 on, points to 21. It's the highest aggregate final ever, and that's disappointing when you see a player forced out of the game in the first half. A lot of blood spilled there, and Presbury forced into it, a change. Yeah, Sam Burke has come on for Cormac or Jack McDonald, who had a nasty elbow injury coming into the cup. And Sam Burke has been playing a lot of rugby this year for them. So here we I'm go with Lorcan and Smith stop. setting it up Six. for Murphy now. Two in the backfield, so he goes straight down the middle. That's a blood sub for now, by the way, from uh, Pres Bray, James McDonald. So let's hope he can rejoin the fray. Really good tackle going in from Finn Bryan on Charlie on Maloney. Important that Pres Bray can stop that counter-attacking threat early. Here they go again with, this time it's Tunge, but another penalty for a high shot this time. Just there. Be careful, okay? Yeah, just Adam Tide Adam just Is goes it? high. Nice. Next next phase here. Black Rocker just playing a phase back to kick the box kick. Probably isn't. There's no, probably no contact over the shoulder, just about it. Uh, but no, they are trying to keep the, the height low. Okay. Lads, lads, lads. Is your mark? Just here. You can see James McDonald getting a fresh shirt with uh, no blood stains on it, so hopefully he'll be ready to rejoin the fray very short indeed. Meantime, it's that man, Mikey Yard, to try and hit his targets. Oh, nice variation. Yard gets it again. Good pace, sweeping around that corner, opening up both sides of the pitch, and Michael Colreve takes it on for Black Rock now. Good solid tackle again from Zach Kirby. Hands from the second row, Donegan McGuire, and then it goes to Harry Whelan. No Connor O'Shock to see this afternoon for Black Rock. Unfortunate to see him miss out with an injury. Really good break again. The back row doing lots of damage and good support line from Mark Walsh, and they're recycling it quickly. Finn Tracy was over the ball there. He just couldn't quite get his hands on it in that jackal position. Pulled out the back from Cole Reevey, and now they go to Maloney. There should be another try here, and it's a simple case of putting it through the hands and back. On the inside came Mikey Yar, and they look certain to score, and they do. Third try of the afternoon for Black Rock College. No, no, no. Yeah, great try again. Lovely strike off the line out, getting Mikey Yar into the game. He's such a powerful carrier because James uh, James, he uh, James Heaney came across, tried to smash him, but he just bounced off it. And then it's a big carry here from the big number six, Connor Tonge, with a little bit of help from Mark Walsh, gets him over the game line. And then basically getting so tight on him. Yeah, it was a good carry from Tonge, wasn't it? And that's a lovely ball at the back. And again, just 
the flexibility in their back line, keeping their eight and their two wide in the wide channels, allowing their backs get that ball out there. Really good score. He had the confidence to cut inside. He's made things a little bit more straightforward for Oliver Coffey, albeit a different, difficult angle. Oh, it's a beautiful strike. Absolutely perfect. Straight out of the sweet spot, and it's sailed between the uprights, and it's a long, long way back now for Prez Bray. They've hit top gear pretty quickly here at Black Rock, albeit only the first okay. round, but a real statement of intent. Okay. Yeah, obviously there's different personnel, but it carried on where they left off last year, winning that cup final in, in the RDS against Gonzaga. And, you know, for a first round to just be so clinical. They've already made an error. It's been really impressive from Blackrock. Yeah, that's a very good point. There's so much build up, so much expectation and responsibility on these players. And Time you're on. there's nothing, you can't match the white heat of battle in the first round of the cup. And it has been a fairly flawless opening 22, 23 minutes from Blackrock. Dara O'Sullivan then to contact. Press break penalty this time. Yeah, a good by Dara O'Sullivan, covering the back very well, running it back with real intent. Well and it was just, I think it was the tackler, Mark Walsh, stays on the wrong side of the rook, which blocks the, the clean out for Press Bray. Jack Murphy sends him down the line. You really feel Press need to get something before half time here just to, to keep alive and, and show what they can do. But they have to be able to keep the ball a little bit better, being a little bit loose with the four passes and you know, offloads going to ground. They give you numbers, you give them numbers. What's the numbers? Seven, sorry. Seven, okay. Seven? Do you want it? Are you good? Are you good? Three, three, three. Plenty of distraction over in that far corner. Oh, a little bit of a shift Zach drive good, there, Zach trying to fashion something clever off the training paddock. There it is for. Keen Eddie now, Murphy goes to his inside centre, Lorcan Smith. It's another physical carry straight up the middle from him, and they move it through the hands again. Jack McDonald, but he's met with tackle plenty now. of power, and he's driven back in the tackle. Murphy now, out they go to Finn Tracy. Blackrock will know all about his capabilities, and that's into touch over on that far side. Yeah, smart play by, by Jack Murphy and Finn Tracy, just bouncing back blindside. They're losing collisions in the middle of the field, so there's no point going the same way. There was a slight opportunity, Finn Tracy against Mikey Yar, but I think Mikey Yar did a brilliant job. But you see here the carry, big hit from Blackrock, two-man hit, really Five. physical. Michael Colrevi and his friends, you know, counter rook. There's a slight chance Black, the press can get around him here, but that's a brilliant, brilliant effort from Mikey Yar just to put Finn Tracy off and as he tries to link with, with Dylan Henry. Yar is throwing well from touch as well, and they're using this ball That's one both nine. ends of the field. That's outside. Coffee they needs some communication back there. Well, it's an awkward back bounce since a few players bigger than Tom Brig out there, but it's back on the press side, and there it is for Finn Bryant, Murphy now, Lorcan Smith, Kian Eddy this time too. Corrigan. Tackle, release, tackle. Almost held up there. He's done well to get the ground and. That's brought in 50. Hold nine. Press can recycle this time. They go to the air. Swirling around. A lot of ground has to be covered there by the Blackrock fullback, Andrew Quinn. It was really difficult. Good tackle. Zach Kirby made a big hit to stop the Black Rock player before he could get any progress, but taken away strongly again by Michael Colrevi. He's having it. a good game in that second row. Like so many others around him. Coffee goes the aerial route again. Murphy, good hands, did well. Now, was he clipped on the way through? Referee's happy to play on. Coffee will do that. 
has given that a little bit too much. So perhaps an opportunity now for Prez Bray. Yeah, it's the, it's the first kick in air that Black Rock have, have made, but they're, they're working the backfield is outstanding. Andrew Quinn there, he didn't deal with the first catch, but the composure they showed and using Charlie Maloney to get him go forward. Take the line. I think Jack Murphy's right, he, you know, their defensive line is so full. You saw him try a cross-field kick. He's gone to the air, now he's trying to get that little chip space in behind. It's such a well-drilled black rock defence, there's no obvious holes anywhere. Oh. Finn Bryan again going for the reliable hands of Billy Corrigan. That's one, Tron! Inside. Eddie Murphy wants more options left and right. They're quickly out of that defensive line with Jack Angulo and others to try and cut down his space. Taken on by Jack McDonald. 27th minute of the game. Again, there's another really, really big hit. Goes in there. Corrigan carries well. They get it away to McGrath. And it goes this time to Darrow Sullivan. No, they no, need no. to clear out and get somebody in there and play scrum half. And they do. Kirby does that. Murphy. Oh, space over the top. Now the pass is a little bit high. Just slow James Healy down a fraction as he had to take that above his head. You're off your feet first. Black Rock player off his feet. Not supporting your body weight. Yes, better by Prez. Playing those little tip-on passes. Getting past the, the front line of, of, of Black Rock. You just need to be careful okay. because the, the pass is getting tackled yeah. after the ball. So it looks like Rock are going to get on that ball. So they need to get Blair body to that rook quickly. But... Just before half time here now, a chance. They haven't got much change out of the Black Rock Mall so far. They tried a little Just trick play where they popped it down to the middle. Black Rock sacked it well. It's a big opportunity for, for Prez. You feel they have to get something here going into the sheds at half time. Guys, what is it? Seven? Seven. Seven. Well, no shortage of support for either team, really, but the Prez Bray supporters away to my left hand side really vocal now they know the importance of this passage of play in the game good take again from Corrigan they funnel it back to Finn Bryan and now they're getting some go forward now was that taken down referee goes on to have a look yeah there's a penalty advantage here Jack Murphy will know that now it's been pinned on the ground James Healy has a little pop for the line Corrigan, I think, who wants to be next up. He's only a couple of feet short. There's a fresh advantage as well. They go on again the line, with Ross Mackey, the blindside flanker. All here now for Prez Bray to try and get some points on the board. Crucial moments, great drive and surge and power and a lovely try. And they worked hard for that and they've got a foothold in the game with their first try of the afternoon. Now they had to work really hard and eventually it's, it's Zach Kirby who's a real powerful ball carrier. He makes big runs usually out the field, but here he just shows really good technique. But it's just the patience for Prez Bray, because in fairness to Black Rock, they're giving, not given an inch. They're offside most of the time, and in fairness to playing a penalty advantage. But it's really important. It was really important for Prez to score there, because you wouldn't fancy him to go back to the corner and score from the mall. So just key moments just before half time. Did really well. Great finish. Low body position. Was not going to be stopped. kick but it's a judge not to have hit its target by the assistant referee so the flags stayed on 21 points to five it remains but close up on half an hour Prez Bray have got themselves into the contest it's time to run yeah and again from a press point of view it's important they, they deal with this kickoff and just get back down there it's a really good kickoff it really is back great hand here. time on it and it's judged to have gone back off that outstretched paw of Tom Brake in they go to Alex Mullen again. He's doing a lot of damage when he's got past his opposite number. He's got past two or three. Lorcan Smith can't Come really on. hold him either. Others in that Black Rock pack, like Tom O'Reardon as well, very difficult to put down, and they're recycling and changing the angle. <laughs> Lovely inside pass. All oh, the tap tackle wasn't really Shots. held. And Andrew Lines. Quinn's very, very close here. Now, we've seen already 
two previous occasions. They're almost impossible to stop from this kind of line, range. Line, line, line two. Can they find a soft shoulder? They've shifted again brilliantly. I think it was Alex Mullen who got the pass away. So it wasn't him that scored, but they have found a way for a fourth try. And that reprieve of the Zach Kirby score for Prez instantly almost snuffed out by no, Blackrock who get their fourth try. Good hands in close. Yeah, brilliant by Blackrock. Once they got that ball back from the kickoff, just yeah, on the front foot again. It was a lovely inside ball back from, back from Coffey yeah, into back. Andrew Quinn. And, and look, we've seen him here before. The tries have all come from being dominant here, squeezing that Presbury defence. And, you know, if they don't go, have to go wide, they'll just clean up here with just really good body position and that lovely little soft pass. Pres have no answer to the power game of Blackrock when Blackrock up the ball. Three. And two more easily added from the boot of Oliver Coffey. And that's disappointing from a Pres Bray point of view. But full credit to Blackrock College having been back under their own posts. They've come all the way up the other end of the pitch and scored another really powerful try. So Murphy gets us back underway. Three or four minutes or thereabouts to half time. Now that's going forward off a, a Prez Bray hand. Coffey gets his team moving again. Two second rows have been excellent. That's Dara Maguire. They've done a lot of hard work. Colrivi also. Tomo Reardon, super two. Coffey goes long. Oh, that was. Tricky. Okay. Hold blue. Stay. Three. It's another big kick over on that far side. Yeah, and again, it's just that calmness and, and skill and, and range of kickers to be able to constantly bring the play yeah. down 40, 50 metres. And they're really putting a squeeze on Prez here now. Just take the line. Take the edge of the line there. Take the edge of the line. Yeah. All about the forward so far for Blackrock. Tries from Tom O'Reardon, Tom Brig, Mikey Yar, Alex Mullen. The pack doing a lot of the heavy lifting. That's a brilliant take. Lovely pick up from Lorcan Smith. That wasn't easy. He's That's moving at full 50. tilt. The ball's dying in front of him. Murphy now. And they find some space out here. There's a brilliant pick up, as you said, from Lorcan Smith there. And Touch. Press trying to go down. same way, and just need to not down to touch. No. be a little bit more miserly with the ball because you know, this rock set piece and has Is been so here? efficient. Thank you. It's great from Lorcan Smith. Move it's much more point. difficult to catch an oval ball. He's uh, an accomplished Wicklow GA player as well. Okay, lads, showing good it. hands. So Mikey Yard. Off the bench in last year's final, he's uh, announced himself with a try this afternoon. One of four scored by the defending champions, and here comes the counter rock. They're just requiring a second extra, and there was nobody there to pick up the ball, and it's picked up instead by the open side flanker for Blackrock, Angulo. Flat pass to this blind side and taken on a pace by the always willing runner of Alex Mullen. Play the ball, play the ball. his try this I'm afternoon so far as well. Back inside from Whelan, and look at that power on the carry from Tom O'Rear. Now he needs his support I runners to be in place. Couldn't quite recycle and go again. Yeah, it's just a variety of, of ball carriers that Rock have. is so impressive. Tom O'Rear there with a huge carry. Well, it's been a, a real statement opening. 35 minutes in this first round, first half from Black Rock College. They go in. Well and truly in the ascendancy, having scored some lovely tries, all very similar, powerful tries, but they lead Black Rock College at half time in Donnybrook by 28 points. 25. Robbie Jenkinson is happy to get us underway, and away we go. Taken cleanly by Billy Corrigan, he's probably been the pick of the Prez Bray forward, certainly in that first half. It's a little bit loose and a little bit sloppy, and they're the kind of unforced errors, really that Presbury can ill afford, particularly in the early part of the second half. Yeah, Pres obviously going to try and carry a little bit more into the wind. Just this ball just dies on him. Nice and square. Nice and square for me, lads. Right. 
gives Blackhawk a great set piece opportunity. Definitely seems that that breeze is a little bit more prevalent down at pitch level. It's not uh, a huge way up here to the commentary box, but it is pretty closeted. We can't feel it, but it is having an impact, and maybe keeping the ball in the hand is the way forward for Prez Bray. What about this little switch in midfield between 9 and 10, and then it's spilled forward by Andrew Quinn, who was coming on to it at real pace. Yeah, Prez were lucky there, got very narrow on defence, and Andrew Quinn has been really impressed with that ball. Six, you see the nine loop around of ten and just yeah it's a 2v1 there if they can make that catch stick there's james mcdonald in that red scrum cap feeling like he had to bite in they're interesting to see andrew quinn he's such a pacey player played all his rugby on the wing last year but in a fullback this afternoon he's taking a little bit of a knock andrew quinn as i mentioned that he's receiving some attention that left shoulder I think he's had a good game he's looked very very dangerous bags of pace Singer. Okay. All right, yeah. All right. Thanks, sir. interesting set of results for Black Rock across the winter campaign they lost to the likes of Gonzaga St Michael's Newbridge and Clongos okay. beat Terenure beat CBC Cork Methody and Royal Belfast Academical Institute as well so that's disappointing to lose Andrew Quinn. Time's on. Same mark, fellas, yeah? Okay. It looks as though it's Derry Maloney who's going to come in. And there he is in the backfield and ready to go as we get set to resume with a put in for Kianetti over on that far side to the scrum. Set! Hold the push, Blue! Back. McDonald Tackle comes into release. the line and takes it under pressure from Mark Walsh. Good take from Darrow Sullivan. Now Murphy trying to build some pressure here and take Blackrock through the phases, and now they move it wide and slung out from Finn Tracy. Yeah, better by better Prez, building a few phases, going from right to left. Looked like they had created an opportunity there, but that pass just goes forward, well picked up by the referee. And James McDonald's in a bit of space. It's actually his last bit of play, I think, he's going to be replaced by Audrin Mead, who's been an outstanding player for Prez this year. Was a lucky, he'd been injured the last couple of weeks, so late fitness tests. Just did enough to come back into the squad, he's going to get. A half now to show what he's about. And so a big opportunity, plenty of time to show what he can do. And off goes James McDonald, still only a fifth year. And so many of this Presbury team back again from last year. All right, noise. All right, water off, please. So, yeah, it's definitely Oren Mead in there, wearing number 20. Interesting to see if he can put his imprint on this game. And they do have to try something now. They're going to have to use their resources and go to the bench and roll the dice. Point. Set. Coffee is poised for the put-in. It's at the feet once more of Brig, and away they go to Mark Walsh. Nice depth and variation here, lovely step, and a first real sight of what Derry Maloney can do off this bench. We, it's just an extra little roll on the floor there, isn't there? Yeah, another good first phase strike. Darrow Sullivan from Prez came in to try and shut it down, but just again, it's that power in contact. Just get him go forward, and it's that second movement. Every single one of the Black Rock players looks so comfortable on the ball. I'll give them the edge, yeah. So just like, yeah. I'll get you numbers. 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 And they're following in the footsteps of a very, very impressive team last year, and so many of the players back again. You take that run to the cup final and that big win against 
Gonzaga, I think the winning average points margin in the cup last year for Black Rock was 29 points. Yeah, they're a phenomenal side, and you know this Black Rock team mightn't have had great success in the friendlies, but you know certainly they've laid down a real market today. Nothing will have escaped the notice of the other teams who will be trying to plot a way to try and stop, if you can, the power that Blackrock have. We see it so many times, how they produce these athletes. That's a really good first introduction, and a little bit unlucky, really, that the Blackrock defence is so good to stop that out and get the turnover. Yeah, that's a great turnover there on the ground. In fairness, that's what Prez want to do. They want to be able to move that ball again, using Jack Murphy as a sec second receiver. Audrey Mead has got loads of pace. Gets over that gain line. It's just support player just doesn't arrive quick enough, and... It's a brilliant jackal turnover by, by Blackrock. It's another little flash from Jack Murphy off that left hand to try and bring the players around him into the game at pace and change things up. Good clean take. Walsh again switches it back inside. Presbury ready for it in the shape of their try scorer, Zach Kirby, on the open side flank. There's that man, Tom Brigg again. So difficult to put down, and he wrestles his way forward four, five, six meters. Coffee is quick again, and Whelan now. That's better in defense from Presbury, forcing the error. And they'll get the put into the scrum. Yeah, good defence by Finn Tracy there. Get up in the in the eye line of the Black Rock attack, and likewise Jack Murphy the far side. They were going to bounce back down the blind side, but he came up and made him change direction. But it's just a power in the carry. That time it was it was Briggs, you know, a Briggs who we've seen so often in the first half again. Two press play players on him, and he's just getting five, six, seven yards of contact after the initial hit. So Adam Tide goes off from that second row. The Basketball player for Temple Oak. Steady lads, yeah. Balance. Crouch. Yeah, so Ty Tracy's going to move in to the Five. back row for for Prez Bray. Set. And Ross Mackey will move into the second row. Hold blue. Ty Tracy's brother Space with seven. the Irish schoolboy. 13, Finn Tracy. Now Murphy going backwards, doesn't have a lot of time. Good take, and he's shown a good clean pair of heels here on a couple of occasions already. Derry Maloney just a little bit unfortunate to lose that forward in the contact. Does it open some space? They're quickly across Black Rock in big numbers to try and snuff out any counter-attacking threat from the likes of Finn Bryan and others. Eddie. Murphy once more, a screen of two or three players in front of Finn Tracy. They're trying to bring him into the game as much as possible. First man. It's Meade again. Release a real wrestle Release. for Release. it. Release. Is it coming back on no, the Presbury side or have no Black Rock have pinched it? That's another turnover. Oh, there's a bit of space there, and Connor Tonge goes into it. Now he accelerates away. That's a great cover tackle from Jack Murphy. And he's coming through again to try and disrupt things good hands Maguire now into the 22 all hands to the pump here for Prez break and they scramble end. back in defense lots of numbers this way if they can go through the hands or over the top and there's going to be some action required here for Robbie Jenkinson two or three black rock players poised I'll stay here for a second I'll tell you what I've seen yeah. I've delivered knock on from 10 He's no time to catch the ball. Okay, he's not going to regain it. I have 11 coming across his cover. So I'm on penalty, penalty, yellow card. No penalty try because it's cover. Okay. Yeah. I'm going with a one hand. It's a liberal knock on. Okay, it's me. Okay. So it is the sanction of a yellow for Jack Murphy. And uh, I think he might have guessed that it's not a penalty try. In fairness, he had to try and impact the play there. Prez are starting to get 
get that gains in the wide channels, but Black Rock's defense in those wide channels in terms of that the breakdown is very good. And it's from that that they got his turnover, you know, and they have, you know, three or four men over that there. I think good work from the referee. I think Dylan, Dylan Henry is covering across, but you know, well, certainly now this is where Rock loves to be. Ten yards out with a big line-out ball in the man advantage. I send the obstruction. Yeah. So they, they survive it, Prez Bray. Yeah, Prez Bray need to celebrate the little wins there, so they, they stood off that line out. Okay, so the referee deemed that Pre Black Rock had kept the ball at the match, so it's accidental offside when there's a little bit of contact there. Lucky escape for Prez. Right. Right. Just going back to that replay of Jack Murphy, he put his hands to his head initially it's it's an instinctive one as well and he knows if he doesn't catch that it's such a difficult one to take there's going to be problems coming early early blip early blip so free kick to prez bray early blip So obviously Presbury don't have their normal kicker here to line kick. Nor do they have their captain Jack Murphy, so in terms of what they want to do, but scrum is the option. Sam Bryan, one of the vice captains. So Eddie to get his side moving from deep, and again they go to Lorcan Smith, who's had a good game. It's carried well, carried bravely, no space, no time. Oh, it's just not grounded by Connor Tiggs. Tons rather, but uh, okay. really good Back pressure, great charge down in there. Great pressure on the kick there, obviously. Okay, so Tracy the right footer, so it's a difficult okay. kick from his in the angle, but two Black Rock players. Pressure looking up to that didn't see the try. The bounce just bounced away from Connor Tons, who's been excellent tonight today. As they keep turning out these back rowers, you think back to Nick Timoney, who captained well, the Black Rock well. side in 2014. What a team well. that okay, was so with so Connor really Oliver that day and Keelan Doris, Hugo Keenan, yeah, so Joey Carberry, to name but a few. No, 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 please come. So you brought it in, never left. No, yeah, that's come, yeah. yeah. Obviously down to 14 Touch. under big, big pressure here. Do they Boys. use the par yeah. or will they sling it wide? Set. You would imagine the fast expanses. Big opportunity wide. Not a good race. Can we go? Yeah. Well, let's see. Backs his power, does Tom Brig. And it takes two or three players to bring him down. Almost turned into the right decision. I think that's Alex Mullen again. <laughs> it's just power play yeah. after power play. Those yeah. big yeah. pack of forwards. And having got the fourth try of the afternoon, Black Rock College's tight head Alex Mullen gets the fifth and the first score of the second half. Yeah, it's so clinical and they don't need to take risks, they don't need to go wide when you've got power like this. Brilliant off the back of the scrum by Tom Big. You know, nearly scores himself and then from here, just a simple pass. You know, two forwards coming in, a barrel both sides, smashing them over. Really efficient, really hard to stop. No, they don't need as yet to go wide, but I, I fancy if I'm standing in that Black Rock College backline, I might like to see a little bit of ball. It's not the warmest afternoon, and uh, no, but these lads are thinking, guess the next round, guess the next round. Don't give anyone a sniff, and they haven't, they haven't given Prez a sniff every time they've got into the Prez 22. It's so clinical, so efficient, so powerful, well drilled, really impressive. And this man has been quietly efficient and effective as well. He's such a talented player. He looks very composed, very at ease in this kind of environment. Two more for Alex Co Oliver Coffey, rather, who's uh, kept that scoreboard right, ticking man. over very nicely. Left or right? Left. Time, lads. And 
mentioned the fact that they steamrolled quite a few sides last year and they're in and around that Inside. points margin Hold again. Now he's always in touch. Yeah, agree. That was a great kick again. Yeah, yeah. I know they have to win this half, but every single kick is going yeah, yeah. Yeah. over the halfway line. It's been a feature of a nothing. Presbury getting nothing cheaply, no cheap yards. Or it's a long, long way to come back here. It again, it's worked really well. The lineup for for Prez up by the first one, yeah. Just that Finn Kelly, Billy Corrigan combinations worked really well. Can they find some space out here? It's that man, Finn Bryan, again, who carries it into contact. So to Lork and Smith, and it's been pinched over by Michael Colreevy. Mikey Yar, good tackle as it had to be. I think it was Zach Kirby again, quickly out of that defensive line to try and shut down any kind of space Yar he's got Brig in support and now they're trying to get a little bit audacious good offload back inside and Yar goes again they've kept this alive really really well clear out is good the ball is quick that little part of three and then the space out wide on the bounce they still go with Maloney and then it's just forward to Charlie Maloney and I think, yes, Jack Murphy is back with us. There he is, worry number okay. 10, back into the fray, 15 aside. Yeah, some lovely play down the five metre challenge from Blackrock to avoid the, the touch line and get those well, offloads as Prez came across uh, okay, in big numbers trying to put him out in the touch. Credit to Lorcan Smith, number 12. He stood up at 10 there while Jack Murphy was out and gave the team a bit of direction. Yeah, keep it up now. You see that pass there from Derry Maloney, just probably has too much time on it and just drifts a little bit. They have to win the second half. Just forward and let off for Prez, who were down numbers. Crouch! Point! Derry Maloney and Charlie Set. Maloney not related, but Derry Maloney, who's come off the bench to wear number 23. His brother Reuben was at fullback for Black Rock last year. It's forward again. And both sides struggling, and conditions not perfect. Therefore, to help them out a little bit. Yeah, they're just so intent to try and get get the ball in the front foot. You know, they're just creeping up, they're not deep enough. And it's very difficult for the centres, you know, when the winger's so flat. You know, especially there, off a set-piece strike, it's going to be a little bit deeper, but I understand completely just, you know, especially for Prez with 35-5 down, they want to make something happen and make something happen quick. Time check from Justin Vanstone, nearest to camera there. He must be absolutely thrilled with what he's seen from his team so far. Is there space out wide for the likes of James O'Sullivan? Tackled well by Finn Tracy. Brig once more. Tackled by his opposite number that time, James Healy. Whelan, O'Reardon, he's shown really good hands this afternoon. That's a nice step too by Owen Walsh. Presses the accelerator, great tackle, brilliant hit. Jack Murphy did really well then. Nice. A little bit slower coming back this time. Tonge gets his team moving. Alex Mullen, who's on a hat trick and through a hole almost, goes the open side flank on Gulo. Lots of targets, lots of short lines, brilliant hands. O'Reardon must be in, and he gets his second of the afternoon. So the two prop forwards between them have scored four tries, and Black Rock move on to six, and it's still all about the power of this forward pack. They are simply unstoppable. Yeah, and because they're so powerful, they're getting their hands free in contact, and it's making Prez, Prez very, find it very difficult to get that defensive line set. Good clean out there. We just see here, just a really strong carry from Angelo. Fighting for those extra yards, and this is the carry I think that leaves a little bit of space. You know. okay. Again, it's that little footwork from Biggs, big that just gets him to the front foot, and then once he gets in behind, he has great support from Tom O'Reardon, who's been excellent. Straightforward. 
task of taking us on to 42 points to five now. Okay. We well, can have nothing but admiration for how well drilled this Black Rock pack is, and okay. it's been all about their power and pace. But as you say, the subtlety around the hands as well. O'Reardon's been brilliant on that. One little shift into left from Tom Brig makes it so difficult to bring him down. Yeah, yeah. time has been any bit of a dog leg in the press defence or, or the, the primary tackle is low when there's no secondary hit. They seconds. are Bro, very okay. comfortable offloading the ball and have been incredibly accurate doing that. Okay. And that makes it just so hard to defend. So, they, you know, they've been dominant in terms of their kicking game, they've been dominant okay, in terms of their mall, and they've been dominant in terms of their carries, and they're key elements of trying to win at this level. It's a couple of changes to tell you about in due course, but let's stay with the action as Finn Bryant makes a great carry up the middle. It's that man Corrigan again, but he's hit hard in the tackle. Murphy now, can he prize them open in any way at all? Henry back inside, this is better from Prez Bray, now they need to get the Black Rock targets out of the way, clean out efficiently and try and manufacture some kind of quick ball, but again, the physicality and defence from Black Rock. Murphy, flat to the line, bringing Finn Bryan forward at pace. Changes scrum half, and Murphy now with options out wide again, they're keen to move it and shift it. And it wasn't perfect, it was really difficult for Connor Burke. Back Black foot, Rock foot. survive and Mikey Yar and they just settle everything level. down again. You have to stick the plan here to just get a good exit, kick it off. And just relieve pressure. Better from Prez though, finding a little bit of space down the left hand side and then trying to get all the way across and just that ball didn't Sit down blue, for Ormeade. One, two, seven, blue. You see it here at the back to Finn one, Tracy. Just trying to get over that blitz. And one, two, seven, yeah. Time's off. Back rock again, do really well. To get away so from the touchline there. They're so good at fighting He's off anyway. back in field. So a flurry of changes. Okay, Greg outside. Barron coming in, Paddy Moore Go too, Connell Hodges as well. Uh, they've had, right had a great game, both of them. The whole front row, in fairness, as a unit have been really impressive for Black Rock. Okay, time on. <laughs> it's a little bit loose this time. Ball's out. So a chance for it. Those on that Black Rock bench to show what they can do. Use a nine! That ball's out, Pray. They do have plenty of strength and depth, but they're going to be uh, difficult to shift any of those players out of their starting positions given how impressive the likes of O'Reardon and Mullen and others have been all afternoon. Bangalow too on that open side flank has been excellent, he's worked tirelessly. Tackle Hodges in for him. Back foot. Murphy again, oh it's a lovely line, much much better and in goes Greg Barron to try and slow things down and they move it to Darrow Sullivan this time. Pulled out the back from Ross Mackey and picked off. Intercept from Michael Colreevy, and they won't stop him from there. Galloping away. And Black Rock in seventh heaven. Try number seven. And they stretch that lead out further. Well, Presbury do have to throw caution to the wind a little bit and try something. Colreevy snuffs it out. Yeah, great read in defence. As you said, Presbury have to try and unlock that defence from Black Rock, which was so impressive. We saw a great line from, from James Healy, but just as they're trying to get to wit there, it's a great read by Michael Colreevy. He's been brilliant for him in the line-out, has, has last year as well, and he's a Leinster representative player. He just picks that off, and obviously all the Presbury Bray players are, are very flat because they're on attack and there's no one in the backfield, so... He's been a fixture on the side right throughout the friendlies this season, Michael Colreevy, and you can see his value to the team. And this time it's Harry Whelan who adds the extras and all of a sudden Black Rock find themselves within a point of the half century here. Okay. A couple of further changes as well as others off the bench for Black Rock get their opportunity. That's the last piece of action for Harry Whelan. Change at 9 and 10. Here's Owen Walsh. And confirmation that it's uh, Jack Larkin who's come in 
and Paddy Clancy. Oh, there was Come almost on, a pick-off there no, no, from no. Dylan no, Henry. No, no. Back foot here. Good read by Dylan Henry. Okay, there. Nine advantage over for the knock. He's got to get up high there. It's unfortunate to catch a rocket kick now. Oh, knock on. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Jack Larkin just newly introduced and he's done his level best to recover the situation and he might have done that he not taken that extra half roll on the floor yeah he recovered really well from that ball just been a little bit unsettled at the back of the rook no 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 showed he's got loads of pace it's probably the one area the black rock will want to be careful of there has been a lot of double movement on the ground he's given away two penalties for it. probably a few others they didn't so probably something that they'll work on for the next game because referees are very strict on it Perfect there, thank you. Numbers? Five. It's so important from a morale point of view, and I've no doubt they absolutely will, Presbury, keep going right to the final whistle here and try and find a second try from a not dissimilar position from where the first try came about from Zach Kirby in the latter part of that first half just too much on the throw and it gives the opportunity for Connell Hodges to take it out of that defensive situation and Tonge now as well, he's carried That's well and strongly Use it now Larkin taking his time, hoisting that high and swirling around Yeah, I agree He's taken back in, so it's out on the full. So an extra few meters for Prez Bray back in the situation right. and a chance for Finn Bryans who hit his target this time. Yeah, they got a shot at it a little bit further out than the last time. Corrigan's been a big source of possession for them. I can imagine under a little bit of pressure, they'll go back to him here. Finn Bryan, the hookers, had a big season for Prez, really dynamic ball player. Ma they do hit Corrigan, easy to That's see why backwards. he's earned Irish and Leinster representation. Oh, really, really good player now. Bryant, equally excellent player. McDonald protecting things and Prez Bray in good field position deep inside that 22. Murphy showed good hands, had to spin around and get that pass away to Finn Tracy. Those two have linked up well today, as we thought they might, and Murphy now trying to take matters into his own hands and find a gap and prize them open. Corrigan needs support now. It arrives from Dylan Henry, quicker ball this time. Meade gets that back line moving again. Murphy flat to the line and bringing nope. McDonald onto it. Now it's better, quicker ball for Murphy, but the Black Rock defence all the while reorganising, resetting, numbering up and holding out Corrigan again. Murphy, they're up quickly, he has to try something. And it goes to a Black Rock hand and that of Jack Larkin over there. Ten minutes to go. Time's off, just have an injury here. There's an injury to, I think it's Dara O'Sullivan. Yeah, I think that pass there is... Testament to the pressure the Black Rock have been putting on. There's just no holes. Jack Murphy came around the corner. He didn't have an option to go out to the left, so he had to carry himself. And you know, just the whole effort that Black Rock have, or the way Black Rock have played the game has taken a huge amount of energy out of Prez and now they're looking quite fatigued and in attack, even though they're an incredibly fit team and really well prepared physically by Olin Savage. But yeah, just this deficit of, of, of power and size and the Clinical, how clinical Blackrock have been has just made it very difficult for Prez to still have energy going into this last period of the game. It's the vagaries of the open draw and all the okay. hard work done in the gym and on the training pitch over the winter, and it can be snuffed out in 70 minutes in ruthless fashion yeah, as it has been today by a team so well drilled and so accustomed to this kind of position off, and they're expected to come up every year and win and perform okay, so well. Blue ball going forward is just your player is injured so it's going to be a blue scrum. Yeah, okay, I think, I think Black Rock had, had dipped for a couple of years, you know, Here they we weren't are. as effective um, as they had been but, you know, it's been a big turnaround and okay. we saw that last year, dominant side and, you know, you know, you mentioned some of the friendly results didn't go that well but 
I went down to watch them in Tullow last week against Kilkenny and they were, they were excellent. I think they won 55 5 or something like that. So they're peaking at the right time. Um, and, you know, they've got 70 odd cups. And, and you wouldn't bet against them this year. Yep, right on that number 70, which, as I said at the very top of the show, is more than everyone else combined. And they don't often go on stretches without winning one. It was four years between 18 and 22. Captain in 18, Liam Turner scoring up the road at the RDS against Cardiff for Leinster. Show once again demonstrating that very quick and productive conveyor belt of talent. Darrow Sullivan is back on his feet and after shipping a knock and injuring himself, and he didn't really have any support having got back there and he chose to run it back. Yeah, but again, just from Black Rock's point of view, just so smart. I mean, they're, they're 49 5 up and most teams just keep it in hand, but they just kick down there, really good kick chase, and sure. you know, again at the breakdown of being a big threat all day, and so hard for Perez to get back there to Darrow Sullivan, who Perez ran it back with all he could. Some of this backline might get a look in now from a, a midfield scrum. Options both side. That's number 17, Paddy Moore. Gets up there, bringing energy off the bench. Crouch! We knew his grandfather, actually, a great man. His son, his son and Paddy's forward, or Paddy Junior's forward. What a play for Clontar for many years. Dave Moore, who was a past yeah, few with Blackrock as well, yeah. won a cup. Actually played number eight against New Zealand schools for the Irish schools, and his, his opposite number eight was Joan Alomu oh, right. yeah, before he moved to the wing. Crouch! Point! So they're all stacked on this Six. side. Derry Maloney's looked impressive since coming in. This man's been impressive all afternoon. Tom Brig, as he is again. One, two, three to take him down, and still he's looking to get those hands free and manufacture something. Larkin shifts it on to Butler this time. Barron back inside, and it's just gone forward. No need for anything unnecessary or for frustrations to boil over okay uh, I don't know who the tackle was but 16 I think he was taking past the ball yeah. and then just reacted to it yeah, just right. a push and shove for me it's nothing major oh, yes, yeah. okay. I'm going to go with the scrum anyway okay. just a minute too okay so he's the captain yeah so look he just doesn't need to react to that so you see it here just a minute and the tackle made the tackle he just doesn't need to react yeah, yeah absolutely pass is forward so it's going to be a scrum it's going to be a scrum lads okay just don't get involved yeah, right. there's nothing really in it, to be honest. Best one, four pass. Greg Barron, very good hooker as well. He's a bit unfortunate. Mike Villar is such an outstanding player. Thumbs but up. certainly, Why 15, sorry. Greg Barron, if he has to be called upon, he, he will leave nothing behind him. Mikey Doyle in. Yeah, Greg Barron, as I said, was uh, captain at JCT level, and his two brothers both played yeah. senior cup for the Ross winning a title in 2018. Yeah, he's another brother, Scott. He's an outstanding hooker as well. Yeah. Crouch! Point! Six! Hold blue! Murphy got the shot, always put that on the sixpence. That's a beautiful kick. Really good move. Preordained. Orchestrated to perfection, now they need to follow it up here and secure good ball right on halfway. It is coming back. Dug out by Mead and now Murphy is showing that repertoire of kicking skills. Look at that on an absolute sixpence again, bringing Henry into it and he's done well to ride the challenge. He needs support. Can they keep it alive? This is much better from Perez Bay. We've only got five minutes left. They'd love to steal something, but they're pulled back by the shrill blast of Robbie Jenkinson's whistle. Yeah, okay. again, it's Connor Tonge. Every time Prez get a bit of go forward, they just can't resource that rook in the wide channel. Just two brilliant kicks from, from Jack Murphy. This has been a big part of Prez's play all year. That little chip over the top for Finn Tracy. He's so good, he times it so well, and Jack Murphy puts it on a, on a plate for him, and then it's a cross-field kick to, to Dylan Henry, who's again an outstanding player. Loads of pace, brilliant cover tackle there from Barron. 
I'm on sport here. It's just the next rook. Okay. Henry does really well to keep it off the touchline. But just here, you know, see the tackle and clear release. Four. Just stops Perez getting any kind of momentum. As soon as you're getting involved after the ball, okay? After the ball's gone. Well, no lack of effort, I, that's I for sure. But again, Conor yeah. Tollinger has been excellent this afternoon. All around Four. the park, the number six for Black Rock. It's a penalty for holding on back here. I'll let you go 10. It's a penalty for holding on here. Just here. Finn Bryan coming off. He's had a big game for Prez. Okay. Such a brave player. So Ronald O'Boyle is poised to come in and... It's almost everyone in terms of both benches this afternoon. I've got an opportunity. Chance to look at Greg Barron's line out delivery here let me get the communication right all the way to the tail I'm not sure it found it its intended target of Connor Culrevi but it's Black Rock ball again confirmation of those switches five minutes to go that inside pass again picking out James O'Sullivan and he's wrestled his way past two or three and they've been on the defensive all afternoon Press Brian as Bernard says just the element of fatigue now creeping in they've played a lot of the game without the ball trying to make tackles and that was good uh, from James O'Sullivan yeah I've pretty good James three. O'Sullivan yeah. just that inside ball and he's gone back against some tired Press Bray defenders using his fend using his speed bringing him up 40 50 yards up the up the pitch good Press. to see him get his chance he's had a horrific time with injuries over the last couple of seasons really didn't feature at all last year yeah, just that ability to be able to offload in a, in a tackle there from Sammy Bishti. And then it's that little play back inside. Commands a lot of, of Presbury. Hold blue. And through the legs of the number eight and out the back. And big, strong carry. And the tackle went in, though, from Clancy. And he's got a little bit of everything, this guy, Billy Corrigan. That's beautiful soft hands at this stage of the game from somebody who's covered almost every blade of grass. Do have numbers out wide if they can spin it. It's just beyond James Healy, but it's picked up again and off in chase. And Burt now showing his pace and good footwork. Clear out comes in from Healy. Ball is loose and it's a black rock ball before it's eventually just bumbled into touch on that far side. Yeah, brilliant again by Audra Mead. Big space there on the edge. Oh, they're gone quickly. Well, can they find something here? Murphy over the top, chasing his own kick. Two Black Rock players together, picked up by O'Sullivan. Sorry, here. Yeah, we've seen O'Sullivan, what he can do with ball in hand, but just there, the basics are covering the, cover the backfield. Presbury went quickly, Finn Tracy thought he saw a bit of space in behind, yeah. but brilliantly covered by James O'Sullivan. A slight miscue on the kick, but it's uh, worked out in his favour. A kind bounce of the ball. Not a great kick there. Are you in, right? Five. Five. In. I need, I need one receiver. Are you in? So tight, Tracy. I need you in the line. This time it's a little bit high for Corrigan and snapped up by Greg Barron. Quickly on from Larkin and they find their way up again once to that 22. Advantage. And we're back on side. Mark Walsh. Number 12. Penalty advantage against Larkin Smith for offside and it's that man Colrevi again. Larkin is providing quick service. The little pop pass no back advantage. inside from Tom Brake doesn't go to hand here, for Hodges. 12. Never back on side. Last 90 seconds or so, it's been 12, back on side. Back an emphatic, back down, powerful display, short, short and one up. that will have uh, not escaped the notice of all of the other teams in this competition. Yeah, really impressive by Black Rock for me now. They're, they're right up there as, as, as favourites. Uh, I saw Gonzaga during the year. I thought if they get quick ball, they'll rip teams apart. But 
just in terms of the overall balance of of Black Rock, this has been a very impressive performance. Michael Jess, they were very impressive. Their goal line defence was excellent. Crunch. Their mall, their power game was good. And certainly they'll be there or thereabouts. But this has been you know, something that's laid down a real marker. Oh. Well, this time it's the reprieve of a penalty for no. Prez Bray. Sorry, we're back here. In front of the match. Finding an answer me. Well, they've enjoyed themselves this afternoon from very early in the game in a commanding position with that early opening try from Tom O'Reardon. Further tries from the likes of Tom Brigg and Michael Yar and Alex Mullen in the first half into a sizable and commanding 28 points to five lead at half time. Three further tries added in the second half from Alex Mullen, who got two. Tom O'Reardon also got a double. And then Michael Colreavy, the big second row. Over the 70 minutes of what's been a really enjoyable contest. And as we've said, it's been hugely impressive from the defending champions who once again have taken those players that contributed last year and added five or six, seven more. We've got good bounce off the bench as well. Not a huge amount that Finn Tracy and Jack Murphy and others can do. It's their one last chance in Prez Bray. Or is there an opportunity for Charlie Maloney and others to add an eighth try? Both sides have given it their all from first whistle to last. Credit to their respective colleges. And it's going to be Blackrock by a distance who advance to the quarterfinals in a few weeks' time. And the final Four act pass. is uh, a forward okay. pass to Greg Barrett. That's full time. The referee will signal full time.